good day, everybody. It's July 31st, 2023 in the Big Bear, California area. We're having another day of thunderstorms, but today it's 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 scattered, not isolated. It's a lot a lot better. We're getting some more uh, steady precipitation, so this is this is pretty cool. Hopefully, we can catch some lightning. But either way, very grateful we're getting some rain up here. And by the way, yesterday's video, you guys, I was super disappointed, and I mentioned it to a few of you. I try to get out in these storms, like right right when they start because I want you guys to know what like like right when it starts happening well anyway after a, that video yesterday as I'm uploading that 25 30 minute video which takes forever to upload it started really pouring and super loud thunder and it was super frequent as well so I was very disappointed because I know that I missed out on a really good part of the storm so um, actually, like the very best part of that storm system yesterday, we didn't get on video, so it's unfortunate. But you know what? I try my best. Sometimes even my obsessiveness over this stuff can't win them all, you know. But what I thought we would do is just, since this is more of a widespread storm here, we're gonna uh, do a drive around the lake. So you guys can see what it's looking like going around the lake. Around the lake, yeah. You know what? I know we don't need to be sitting here at the light, do we? So I'm gonna turn off the turn off the camera until the light turns green. Stanfield cut off now. Always my a beautiful view of the lake. And then this side. So a lot of water is already uh, is already going away. Being done with. Over there in the uh, in, in that marsh area where I just uh, pan the camera over to the right, um, yeah, that <laughs> the water's leaving that area quickly now. So, but it's been in there longer than I've ever seen it after any type of storms where we've uh, had that area or Baldwin with water. So that's that's good that it's lasted that long. Unfortunately, all good things must come to an end. And I'm a little bit nervous. I'm hoping that we do have a really, really strong winter again because uh, I'd really like to get this lake completely full. We got within, I think, six feet of the lake being full this last season. And I'm interested to see what it's gonna be in about two months. on the lake right now it's not too safe especially with thunder and lightning in the area there hasn't been much of that yet but these are thunderstorms and we need to be very careful our lake definitely gets hit by lightning a lot so As I said, we're just doing a drive around Big Bear Lake. Um, it's, it's a beautiful day for that. And usually we do these drives during winter storms. 
but looking at the sky and just how much coverage we have from these uh, thunderstorms, it reminds me of a winter day. So it's making me happy. And I'm hoping that uh, tomorrow we'll end up getting pretty good thunderstorms compared to today. It was supposed to be even better today than it was yesterday, but in terms of the widespread nature of this event, yes, it definitely is, but not nearly as uh, as heavy as it became yesterday. Oh man, it was, as I said, I was super bummed out about it that I didn't catch that on video, and I didn't want to not upload the video that I did, because I, I want to get it uploaded right away. So, it is what it is. to pick up a little bit over here I expected it to pick up more behind us where we were at because the monsoonal flow comes from that direction so this is pretty cool to see it picking up I thought it'd be dying out over here all right we are entering font skin here F A W N S K I N. There's a lot of people who don't watch these videos often. Uh, when I say that name, they're thinking I'm saying something else. <laughs> Just want to make sure you know what I'm saying Fawn Skin. y'all are doing great today I don't know how impactful this event is on the other side of this mountain range like in San Bernardino and Riverside Redlands Palm Springs and whatnot but I'm hoping you guys are getting something because I heard even yesterday from all the super heavy stuff we we got up here Mentone and Redlands didn't really see anything so I'm hoping it had a strong enough push to get over the, our mountain range to you guys to cool you guys off a little bit or at least give you the cloud cover because I know it's been really hot down there we got a nice cool down coming in a, a couple days for about seven or ten days straight it's supposed to be in the low to mid 70s for our high temperature so that's pretty awesome. I looked like he, he was carrying a hacksaw. Jeez. Don't want to make that guy mad. Alright, so we're approaching downtown Fawn Skin. It's a neat little town. I usually don't have any any business over here. 
so I'm, I'm, I'm not over here that often, but, um, there is a breakfast joint that I used to like coming to before I moved up here. Funny enough, I don't think I've, I've been there at all since I've lived here this past eight plus years, but it's right here on the right. I think it's called North Shore Cafe. Yep. North Shore Cafe. It's usually a breakfast joint right here, right there. They do have some antique shops over here. Um, and just, uh, you, you know, a, 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 just a couple little shops to do some shopping, but I think, I think you would enjoy it. I think you'd enjoy it. It's a cute little town. We already are through the downtown area. So if you blinked, it, oh my gosh, that's the tributary right there that we just passed. And yeah, it is completely dried up. I mean, completely dried up. That was really nice when we had that tributary going this season. It was awesome. This this last winter season, it was it was really awesome. And for those of you who have heard of our Big Bear Eagles and the Eagle Cam, we're driving by the Eagles Nest, I think, in, in the next 100 or 200 yards on the right-hand side. I think it's right here where I'm pointing the camera. Our eagles are super famous. It's incredible. People from all over the world like to watch our bald eagles. time you guys we are entering the snowiest part of the entire valley over here on this side of Fonskin close to the Big Bear Dam and where the Big Bear Dam is and just a little bit on the other direction over there on, on Highway 18 aka Big Bear Boulevard those are those are the uh, snowiest parts of the whole entire valley the valley floor I've come to realize the snowiest area in all of Big Bear is Upper Moon Ridge. And my car needed a, a nice wash, so this is good. It's good, real good.
pirate ship. There's a lot of people on the pirate ship for being out here in the rain. Ahoy! Oh, that pirate ship is tiny. can't remember what movies that pirate ship was in, but apparently uh, it was, oh man, what, what is the main movie that it was in actually? I don't know why I'm not remembering right now, but it was a movie that I know all of you have heard of if I would just remember the darn name. This is where Highway 38 right here meets Highway 18. If you want to leave town, you'll make a right-hand turn here, but we're not turning right. We are heading back into Big Bear Lake. So I was hoping this dude was gonna be turning right, but hope in one hand and in the other hand and see which one fills up first. That's what my grandpa would say to me all the time. Well, I'd say, oh, I wish this, or, or, or I wish that. He'd say, <laughs> well, wish in one hand and in the other hand and see which one fills up first. <laughs> I miss you, Grandpa. I miss you, man. Now we're driving right over the dam right now. It is such a beautiful place. Right, here's the Castle Rock Trail coming up to it right here. It's right right next to the Big Bear Lake City Limit sign. Castle Rock Trail is right there. So if you guys want a nice trail that ends up having a really beautiful view up at the top, you want to take the Castle Rock Trail. I, I think it's about a mile, but it's super steep, at least for me. It was gnarly, but it's a good trail. I have it on video for you guys if you want to see how difficult it looks before you attempt it.
coming up to Boulder Bay. So we're going to drive through the village at the very end of the video. And that'll be it. Actually, yeah, I think that'll be it. Because I wanted to stop where we started, but that's okay. We can stop a little earlier than that. Taco Tuesday, go to Azteca Grill, right up here on the right hand side. I'm telling you guys, we usually go for every Tuesday to go get tacos here. They're really good, really good. It's worth it, you guys. Azteca, I'll show you up here. Those of you who come here often, you know exactly where we're at. So if you don't know where Azteca is, I will show you. And if I was you guys, I would try to avoid all of our fast food locations because they are a rip-off up here. My McDonald's meal up here. Oh, well, here's Azteca right here. Azteca Grill. My McDonald's meal up here is 50% more than it costs down, down the mountain. I can get my meal for under $10 down the mountain. Up here, it's right around 15 bucks. It's such a joke. Taco Bell is even worse. And I stopped eating at Jack in the Box a long time ago. I would suggest giving some of the uh, local business owners a shot. For fine dining, your best bet is going to be Peppercorn Grill. And, uh, gosh, what's it called? Right on the lake, uh, oh my gosh. The Pines. Peppercorn Grill and the Pines. Those are the two, two best in my opinion. peppercorn going through the village here for not quite <clears throat> as expensive but still good Oakside is really good so we're coming up to Oakside right here on the right and for a really good burger joint in here we, you've got Mountain Munchies and uh, uh, oh my gosh. Um, Fire Fire Rock. I always forget the name of that place. It's called Fire Rock. Oakside, Fire Rock, and Peppercorn are all in the village here. And I'm telling you guys spots that I've actually eaten at. I can't give you any any review on places that I haven't eaten because that's not fair. I don't want 
anyone to go eat somewhere uh, and think it's good just because I said it. I know it's very subjective when it comes to food. And, and part of my uh, review process is for consistency. Since I've lived here, consistency has been a real major issue up here. You know, you expect to go to your favorite restaurant and get the same food when you order it the same way. It shouldn't taste any different. It should be exactly the same. We have a problem as, as far as I'm concerned again. <clears throat> <clears throat> with consistency and I know you guys come up here spending a ton of money um, to be here and taking time off work which costs you a lot of money as well so it, it's almost double I don't want you wasting your time I want you to have a great experience here I want you to want to come back I've mentioned in the past less than 15% of people ever return to Big Bear and I learned that working at, at Bear Mountain during our orientation and there were so many reasons why. And so they were really having us push what's called the Big Bear Way, which is a way of treating you guys. To me, that type of stuff is common sense. I don't know why it had to take up most of the orientation up here about good customer service and making people feel welcome and, and happy and satisfied, you know? That just seems pretty commonsensical to me, but that was what all most of the orientation was all about was was about the Big Bear way and why less than one five percent of people ever return to Big Bear. Frankly, I thought it'd be like over fifty percent would return because I love to ski and I love the snow and just being in this area. So, but. I can also understand why less than 15% ever return. Now, I think one of my very favorite restaurants, well, here's peppercorn right here, you guys. It's on the corner of Stone and Pine Knot. But one of my favorite restaurants by far that I didn't mention um, because it's a, it's a different type of food is the Crepe Cafe. I'm telling you what, you guys. The owner, um, she is from France and this is her family's recipe. And I'm telling you what, it is so, so yummy. They've got sweet and savory, basically umami. Like it's, it's really, really, really good. And we're coming up to the Crepe Cafe right now on the right hand side, so I'll show you guys. As a matter of fact, I like it so much, I, I really want to do a video there and then incentivize you guys to go try it out because you're going to be really happy that you know know that this place is in town. Not a lot of you know about it, which is, uh, you know, kind of a bummer for these guys because they deserve to be known by everybody. It's right here, that, that, that little shack right there, the Crepe Cafe. Phenomenal stuff. And then obviously for coffee, get your coffee here at Big Bear Coffee Roasting Company. The owner, Chris, does all the roasting in-house. He's got a phenomenal product. I did a video there. A lot of you have shown up to contribute to his business and I haven't heard anything negative, only super positive reviews. Um, and some of you are even on like a, a monthly mailing type thing from that place. He'll send you the coffee so you don't have to drive all the way up here for it. But that place is definitely a, uh, a hidden gem because again, not a lot of you knew about it.
All right, guys, we're done with this video, but I just wanted you guys to cruise along, enjoy the drive around the lake. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it. I love you guys. I love communicating with you all, so I'm looking forward to the comments. Um, if you haven't already, please help me out. Like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. It does, it does help, I guess, and uh, any help we can get would be awesome. Appreciate it. Take care. It's July 31st, 2023 again in Big Bear Lake, California. Peace out. It's really coming down again.